Here we're looking at black chokeberry. This is in the Rosaceae family. It's in the genus Aronia, and the specific epithet is Melanocarpa. Melanocarpa refers to the fruit color having, basically having a darker purplish color to it. So carpa is fruit, and melano meaning color, essentially. You can see here that these are mostly shrubs. They don't get too much bigger than this, maybe a little bit taller, three feet, four feet, maybe at a maximum. Typically multi-stemmed, but really thin stems, nothing very large. The, where the fruit is, which right now is green, you can see a little bit of that here, those would have all been white flowers earlier in the spring. The bark is a gray-brown as you go down on the stem, and the very newest stems will be more of a red-brown in color. Taking a closer look at the twig, it is alternately arranged. You can see the twigs or leaves are coming out alternating as they move up. These green fruit here are still ripening. They'll be ripe at the end of summer and early fall. They're very, very astringent when ripe, and when they're ripe, they'll be a purplish color. You can eat them right off the bush. Most people don't like them, but there are some that really uh, like the flavor. These have some of the highest antioxidant content of any of our fruit native to North America, and really, if you mix them in with something a bit sweeter, uh, can be very good. An individual leaf, it's a simple leaf, sort of an oval shape to it. If you look very closely at the edge, you can see that it has cereulate or just slightly toothed margin. If you look very close at the midrib of the vein, you'll see little black dots or hairs. That can help you differentiate this from other uh, leaves in the Rosaceae family, maybe the service berry shrub, if you came across a service berry. The buds are just starting to form. You can see here by my thumb, it's green here, but this will change into a reddish brown color slightly pointed with imbricate scales as we move into the fall.